Hey guys, what's up? Skippy0330 with you here again in Satisfactory. So last episode, we got all of our coal going. We discovered a different coal node and brought it up up there. Now, I was going to bring that coal down here for our steel plant, but I decided, you know what? We're going to use that for expanding our power grid for a bit here. Apparently, Bob doesn't like hearing me talk today. He just left the office. Anywho, moving on, we're ready to do steel here today, guys. We just have to get a few more pieces. As you can see, I'm going to need some more wire. I'm going to grab up three of those, and we're going to go down and grab up the frames. Here we go. We got an extra 26 in here, which is good because now we have some to build vehicles. We have some to build the components we need for our steel plant. And if you look off in the distance there, we can take a photo and I think we can zoom in. How far can we zoom in here? Holy crap. Look at that zoom capability. Uh, but as you can see, I got rid of all the old stuff going along the cliff now. Now we just have a ladder and the uh, walkway of death. Anywho... Let's get out of this. Let's go get this basic steel production milestone complete. Slap some of that wire in there. Slap the modular fla <laughs> flames, frames, and off we go. See you later. Shut up, lady. Okay, so that is tier 3 complete, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can do advanced steel production here. We can make encased industrial beams, which I do believe we need for our um, Mark III logistics here for conveyor belts. Depends on, oh, wait, you know what? There is a dictionary that tells you what everything costs. Huh. So when I'm doing a search in the recipe menu, it's only bringing up what I have unlocked, apparently. So... We'll have to figure that one out. So we'll go step by step here. So let's select our next milestone, which will obviously be the advanced steel production. In order to do that, we're going to need a whole bunch of steel pipes, uh, rotors, which will be no problem. They're being banked up for us here. And all of this is just fodder at this point. So we got to concentrate here on making some steel pipes right away in our steel factory. So I'm going to turn this miner around here. We have our coal coming in over there. We have a source of iron right here. So I want the iron to actually come out the back here and then I can wrap it around and go down and maybe put some production on this side or wrap it around the outside here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I got to get this done. And done. So we have a nice line coming in for our system here that we can pick up from for supplies. Now ignore that. That does not go through a stone hill all by itself magically. That is not happening over there. There's nothing to see here. Nothing to worry about. All right. I got to head back over to our storage area over there. What I think I'm going to do is actually make a shortcut with the foundations across this way so it's much, so it's much easier to get over there. And just like that, we have ourselves a new bridge. Oh, that's so nice and easy to do now. So first thing we want to make here for our steel is pipe. We want to get that going right away. So let's throw the switch here on our miner and get some ore going down the line. Now, what we need to build for steel is something that takes two things in and smelts them together. Uh, well, not necessarily together, but uses it. Anyway, we are going to build... The foundry, and this thing's actually quite large as well. Okay, the inputs are on the back here. As we can see, I'm going to turn it around this way. Uh, leave a nice little space back there so I can get all of the necessary conveyor belts in. There we go. I think that is good. And there we go, folks, our first foundry. So coal goes in one, iron ore goes in the other. There we are, all nice and hooked up easily to those lines. And the only thing we can make is a steel ingot. So let's get this bad boy turned on. Okay, and only one thing left to make is a constructor because it's just steel pipes, nice and easy. Throw that in line with the other one here. We'll use basic conveyor belts because they're much, much cheaper. I don't think we need much more than that. So we should be good to go. And bam, steel pipes right on. Trying to turn this thing on here without power. Let's get this thing going. Escape out of there. Turn it on. 
perfect. And right into a storage container, you go. We only need 200 of these, and I think we're gonna be making the max, which is 20 per minute. So it only should take 10 minutes here to get our advanced steel production unlocked, which is pretty damn cool, because then we can just continue the steel factory with our other stuff as well. Let's grab those nuts over there. Now there is limestone sitting right over there too. We're gonna to need that for advanced steel. So that uh, comes in real handy. So next up is steel beams. So let's go ahead and do that. It's the same thing here. We're just going to be making ingots and putting them into constructor and going straight into a beam and right into storage. We'll start that line, I think, going down this way right here. Maybe try to wrap around the storage container so it's beside this one. I think that'll work. There we have it. We're already at 102 steel pipes. Wow, this isn't going to take very long at all. And already at six steel beams too. We're just pumping out the production here. Now let's see what kind of overhead we have. We are still at 600 megawatts production, nice and even across the top there. And even at max consumption, we're only at 329. So we still got lots of overhead and then some because I can add even more with that other coal line that I found. All right. Let's take a look over here and see just how many smart plates we've got. 420 smart plating. So that means in 80 minutes, we'll have 500 of these and we can switch it over to tickets. I'm actually really excited about that step. Sometimes with this game, guys, it's just time and patience. You gotta keep yourself busy. Like if you find yourself having to wait for supplies, uh, go and do some adventuring, grab some new things around the map, unlock some hard drives, get yourself some alternative recipes, that type of thing, right? That's what I like about this game. If you come to a, a standstill, there's always something you can do, or you can just, you know, take a break, walk away from the computer for a while and just let things run if you have automated power. Okay, so the one tricky thing here that I didn't even think to look at, we're going to need 200 uh, rotors to make this happen. And I don't think we have that many left because all of those foundries, they took uh, the frames and the rotors to make. So we'll go and take a quick look here. What do we have? We have only 13 sitting in there. I think we're sitting at uh, one per minute. So they're not really stacking up too fast. We have 10 in here. Okay, well, good enough. At least it's giving, keeping us topped off for now. You know what I can do for those rotors? So I can still make those by hand and they don't take very long at all to make. So I can just grab up the materials. Well, I just got the rotors together here and we definitely should have the supplies for the steel that we need. Well, that's creepy. <laughs> Can you get on top of them? Nope. It just kind of bounce right off. Oh, that's hilarious. Boing. I wonder if I can ever work with this. I don't know. Weird stuff. Can you guys do your thing over here? You do you. All right, let's see. Holy crap. Look at the amount of pipes we have. We have way more than enough. It won't take long to fill up that container at all. And we're even sitting at 136 steel beams. Now, I think these are actually what we need for the tier three belts, guys. I was completely incorrect. Uh, now, do correct me if I'm incorrect. Let me know down in the comments below because that also does help people that are watching and playing for the first time. And I think that's what a lot of my core audience is, too because I'm going through a lot of the basic stuff while all the big guys are like moving on to nuclear and whatnot. And I'm still over here being like, I'm making steel. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I'm taking my time. I'm enjoying it. And I'm also delivering this to you guys without financial pressure, which means I'm not putting a mid roll ads in. So I hope you guys are enjoying that because ads do suck. And I know that as a content creator. So I mean, every once in a while, guys, if you watch one at the end or at the beginning, that is much, much appreciated, though. And uh, just thanks for being here, guys. I know the views are lower and stuff and I'm tr transitioning my channel. And it's a little bit of a painful time. But for everyone that goes through this with me, uh, the value is huge. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and pull that off. Nice. Advanced Miles steel reached. production. Logistics can be an additional project part can now be constructed. Further huh. Progress to Apparently. Is now possible. 
Go away. Apparently, that thing never came back. I see a dot up there. See a tiny little dot? I don't know if you guys can see that. If you're in 4K, you might be able to grab that, but... Yeah, it looks like it's just kind of hanging out in the sky up there. <laughs> that is really, really funny. Next up is improved melee combat. We can make ourselves a Xeno Basher. We get another hand slot and we get plus three inventory slots, which is crazy handy. So we're going to select that milestone. It's going to be nice and easy. We're not going to pull that off quite yet. We have to wait 10 minutes for the pod to come back. And in that amount of time, I, I will have this stuff on us anyway. Not too big of a deal. Uh, now, in the meantime, we need to start making ourselves some new steel stuff. So if we press O to open up our menu here for recipes, uh, we're going to take a look into parts and see exactly what we unlocked. We unlocked encased industrial beams, uh, mostly used as a stable basis for constructing buildings. So for that, we're going to need steel beams and we're going to need concrete. So that's a little bit more of a complex construction. And for versatile framework, which we need to complete phase two. So we're, we are in full factory build mode now, guys. This is exciting. Uh, we're going to need modular frames and a whole bunch of steel beams. So yeah, that's going to be a little bit of a complex. So versatile framework, what we're going to do is throw it right beside this building here. We're going to put, I think, maybe just a laneway in between these buildings just for fun. I want to start getting my own architectural style down, right? We don't really have too much unlocked at this point. I'm more concentrated on getting through the tiers here so we can get to trains and set up some really cool stuff. Uh, but we'll leave a laneway in between these for now and I will build the versatile uh, framework factory right here. So there's uh, some other crazy stuff we've unlocked too and this is where uh, construction gets super complex. We have four items to go into one item. We have the heavy modular frames. We have automated wiring, which takes uh, a stator here. I think I said that correctly. And some cables. So that's going to be our next factory after that to build, which I think we can, I, we can handle that. Yeah, we can handle that. And that pretty much right away. So we will do the automated wiring and the versatile framework. We should almost do those first before we add to our steel factory, to be honest. Because it's going to take a while to stack up 500 frames. Yeah, let's go ahead then and start on our uh, framework factory right here. That steel factory up there is good enough for now. We got main lines coming in, so what I'll do is maybe make steel ingots up there and then send the ingots down here and we can pick the ingots off the line, make things a little easier. Wow, so I got a diagram pulled out here and we are gonna need a lot of space and a lot of machines. If we need to, we can expand the factory out that way or we can expand the factory out this way over here. I think this way over here is our best bet. You know, cover up more of that uh, bear nature that we've exposed. But yeah, I'm going to start on this, guys. It's going to take a little while, so I'll probably cut in here and there and say, you know, this is a progress I've made. Check this out. This is kind of cool. This one here hurts my head even looking at. So I got to give it a little bit of a go. What I'm going to start with then is our main supply systems. And I'm going to bring the coal and the ore right into this build. So as far as steel stuff goes all i have to make for these uh the for the versatile framework are steel beams and that's it just steel beams for the steel stuff so i got these two lines coming over here i just split them off from our main steel plant over there and the rest of it's just straight up iron i just have to make a whole bunch of iron stuff so what i'm going to do is pull the iron from this corner over here kind of start my production and try to wrap around this way and then we'll have our end machine right over here and we'll put the storage over there hopefully well let's see how that part goes but yeah basically over here guys just a foundry making steel ingots going into here making steel beams and it'll go right to the final machine and i've started laying out the power network as well i'll hook it up right at the end so we can get everything going at once whoa guys mind blown check this out Rain! <laughs> when did this happen? It's like Minecraft all over again. You know what? I can't complain though. 
Rain is a nice change if it's always sunny all the time, you know what I mean? So a little bit of rain here and there never really hurt anyone. And look at the effects. You can see the, uh, the, the shiny machinery in the ground. That is actually really, really damn cool. So what I've got set up here so far, guys, may as well catch you up while we're talking, is our basics here. So this will produce all of the iron ingots that we need, not too bad. This one over here is going to produce iron rods, which then needs to be split off to another machine and then split into here to make screws to go off into another machine. So that's how far I've gone. Uh, just this right here. Now I need to make myself a couple or an assembler and one more constructor. One more constructor over here making iron plates. This line right here making iron plates and then I think I'm going to throw an assembler right here because that assembler needs the screws coming out of the back of that machine and the iron plates coming through down here. Whew. Okay, guys, I think I got this here. We have the end product, which is our versatile framework. We got modular frames, some steel beams coming in. Of course, we need to make our storage for this here. We can't just have it stack up in the machine and then stop production. Here we go. We'll put it right outside the exit. I think that'll line up Ooh, very, very poorly. There we go. That lined up nicely right there. So nothing is powered. Everything is double checked. Everything is clocked. We're going to be making one per minute, which is uh, going to be 500 minutes. It's going to take a little while, but there'll be a lot to do in between that. And keep in mind, guys, this is not a permanent build, so this won't be staying here. But this space was actually perfect for what we needed. We did waste a little bit of space in behind there, but whatever it is what it is we could have moved that over there if we need to we will not too big of a deal we'll have to put a roof on this place here and make our motors too that would be pretty damn cool but let's get this guy hooked up here i gotta find a, a hook up to an outside power source ah uh, we'll bring the power here from the other building and into this grid right here we're gonna start that bad boy up you know what actually before we do that Let's take a look. We are at max consumption 329. Let's pop that on. And boom. What are we at now? Uh, still says 329. I guess it's not updating. What's happening here? Okay, so we got our steel going here. We're already making some steel beams for ourselves, and that's going to go right into our versatile framework. They're going to stack up. Stuff's going to stack up on these lines because it's not 100% efficient, but at least the machines aren't running overtime for no reason, right? So we got them all timed down. All right, so to explain what happened here from uh, the first row, whoo, let's go over here and take a look. So we had here the screws come into this machine here, this assembler, and we're making iron plates so that machine right there that goes into there and then from over here we got the iron rods being split off oh i don't think i'm hooked up over here are we are we fully going oh no guys my my grid is not uh, not complete here i have failed i have failed my grid let's put some more power lines and necessary in there and I was like, why is the iron not going, guys? I, I'm uh, having a moment here. Look at this. I have coal going right into the uh, the smelter. Uh, that's That wasn't very smart. There we go. Problem solved. I have the correct material going in on this line now. Uh, you always got to test it out, right? You got to get it powered up, check every machine, make sure... Things are going correctly. So like I said, this is making our plates over here. Then this is where it starts getting a, a little more complex. So this machine here was making our reinforced iron plates, uh, which then come out and go into this assembler to make modular frames with the iron rod split over there. And then those frames get split off, go into this assembler, which are waiting for modern or modular frames and the steel beams are being made over on that side so yeah that feels like an accomplishment so i'm gonna wait this one out here a few minutes guys and we'll see um oh wait actually you know what we'll come back and we'll make sure that this thing is producing here once it gets all nice and uh caught up 
In the meantime, what we can do is unlock our improved melee combat. That one's not going to be difficult at all. And we can use a better weapon. This little stupid stabby thing just ain't uh, doing it for me anymore. Let's pop some materials up in there. Oh no, I'm out of wire. That's okay. We'll go get some, guys. Oh, and plates. Our power grid's been updated. We are at 388.4 max consumption for our uh, power, which is... Whoa, whoa, how's that changing? How is that changing? Hmm, maybe it's making recalculations. Uh, but we're at about 250, a little more sometimes, consumption here between 250 and 300 megawatts consumption. And we're producing 600, so we still got lots and lots of headroom to make some more plants here. This is exciting. All right, let's get this one sent off to space. Uh, we just need some more of these. There we go. And now we can make ourselves some better weapons. Let's escape that. Let's go and take a look at our inventory here. Yeah, look at that. Three more spaces along the bottom. That is pretty damn cool. So we got our Xeno Basher. For that, we're going to need uh, some modular frames. Oh, we need two Xeno Zappers. And we got the rest. Cool, let's make that up here. There we go. It looks like our, our ship actually came back this time, too. Pretty cool. Oh, you know what? I have one in my hand. Let's get rid of that one there. And we will make our Xeno Basher. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a couple wires short, damn it. Hey, Xeno Basher, you are mine. Let's go ahead and get this thing made up, and then we will equip it. Wow, that was like 14 clicks or whatever they call that thing. We'll throw that in our hands, and look at this. We even got a third space now to, to hold stuff. That is pretty damn cool. Let's get all of that. Wait, why is it... This is my chainsaw. That's not what I wanted. That should actually be in my storage, but you know what? Now that we have an extra slot... There we go, we'll put it in our hands. Now look at this bad boy right here. It is much bigger, much more powerful, and I can take on bigger, better enemies now. We can get to better treasures. <laughs> cool. Okay, we're moving along real well with our tiers here. Let's go and check out the hub and see what milestones we have left. We have hyper tubes, great transportation system, guys, real key. Uh, we are storing up tons of these copper sheets, which we'll need to actually do that. It uh, requires tons of steel pipes, but it also needs encased industrial beams. So we should add the, that to our factory here too, our steel factory and start storing those. So uh, for our Mark III logistics here, oh, whoa, pff, guys, we, we can do this right away. Let's, let's unlock our Mark III stuff. Oh, wait, is it coming back already? Is it coming back already? Holy crap, that was fast. I guess this research isn't considered a heavy research. Haha, <laughs> cool. Okay, let's go get the, the pipes and the beams that we need. Taking a look at our beams here, we have a few stacks kicking around, not too big of a deal, and we have stacks of pipes too. Wow, looking pretty awesome. Now it looks like our iron node here is suffering a little bit down the line and keeping up. It looks okay here, but once it gets... Oh, what's, what's happening here? Okay, I was going to put faster line on, but I do see that they're not like one right after another. If they were, the faster line would make a, a little bit more sense, right? But no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's go get this unlocked. So as it turns out, I can actually make encased industrial beams by hand. I didn't know you could do that. So that is a uh, very good knowledge in my head to have. All right, let's drop these bad boys in here. There we go. Complete that. Send that off to space. Okay, we'll take a look at our milestones here. So that unlocked our power storage for us, which um, I don't really think we have much of a need for right now. We have so much overhead. Sometimes when uh, you blow a breaker and you go to start everything again, everything powers up at once and it's more than the capability of your power. So this is where power storage would come in real handy. You can draw it from the batteries and then once it stables out, you're good to go, right? But for now, we're, we're not going to use that. I would like to have a purpose for that, though, because that, that is real super cool even if you had one in every little factory just so it could drain from it if it needed to oh super neat i'm nerding out hard with this game guys we got the way bigger industrial storage container these are nice too we got uh mark three conveyor belts and of course a lift and the stackable pipeline support 
uh, but we do not have hyper tubes yet. But for hyper tubes, we can do the encased industrial beams by hand, but we're going to need them, I think, to make the hyper tubes. So we may as well start storing those as well. So we're going to select that milestone uh, next. And <laughs> I can't believe it, guys. We're almost finished with tier four milestones. We'll, we'll have to do the, uh, the space elevator uh, ASAP. Maybe what I'll do if we find I'm really waiting around for these versatile frameworks is I do believe I can double production in here because nothing was uh, above 50% as far as machinery goes, except for these uh, these plates here. But that is okay because then I can just add another foundry onto here and then double up our production and no problem. Okay, let's go ahead and build our encased industrial beam factory over here. What I'm going to do is get up to that platform up there. We're going to mine off of that and bring it down and use that to produce what we need. God, these ladders are the best thing in the world. It is so much easier getting up the face of stuff like this than building the uh, conveyor poles because those things are a pain in the butt to get on and off of. And it looks like, uh, oh, we got one of these things over here, but that is okay. Should be, oh, look how fast I took that thing out with this thing. Oh, wow, what an upgrade. Okay, cool beans. I got to get a, uh, a miner on this. So what I've done here is I've brought in a line of limestone all the way up at the, uh, the top. See it right up there, coming right down the mountainside, all nice and easy. Well, it's not really a mountainside, just that cliff face. And it's actually coming across the line in this direction, and this stuff here is coming in in this direction, which is no big deal because I'm just pulling off lines, right? Doesn't matter where they go in the end. So right here, we're going to start our encased industrial beam storage. I'm going to start the iron and coal and the steel stuff coming from that end and the limestone actually coming from this end here. So just checking on our operation, we now have eight versatile framework chilling out in our storage. So that means this factory is working perfectly for us. Now I've brought the lines up one over here just so I can get in and out of my base easier. I might do that from the now on in the future is make sure that it's at least one block high. I don't know what the count, account that is, but we're going to call it a block. So uh, one block high, that way I can run underneath it all. Makes things much, much easier in the long run. Okay, I got to start laying this stuff down now. And there we go. So we should be pumping out some beams here. And now we got some concrete going in there. Beams coming into here. And it'll be making encased industrial beams for us uh, for the storage's purpose. That's less we have to make, the better. And we'll need these anyway for our construction projects, right? So let's get this all nice and lined up. Get that hooked up, and I always need to put that little bit of a thing on front of these so I can see exactly what's in every container, because after a while, if you guys uh, have seen my main production, things can become a little bit of a maze after a while. Okay, there we go. We are doing good there, doing good there. Pretty damn awesome. But now if you notice, our, uh, our iron production is suffering a little bit even before it really gets to uh, over here. Now, the one thing we can do here is actually upgrade our miner. At the moment, we are, produ are producing 120 per minute. And if we look at our logistics here, our conveyor belt Mark III can push up to 270. So this one does 120. This one will do the next step up. So if we're going to upgrade, of course, our main machine here, we're going to have to upgrade the rest. And all it takes is just one of those steel beams. So that's not too bad at all. That's actually rather, rather cheap in the long run. So for our minor Mark II, we're going to need 10 encased industrial beams and two of the... Um, the automated miner. So I'm going to go ahead and get those together by hand. That should be no issue at all. All right, there we go. I don't know why I made two portable miners. I'm going to pick one up here when I get rid of this machine. But let's go ahead and delete this miner mark one. And we are about to install our first glorious miner mark two, which is going to be much, much better. Overlapping what? Oh, it's overlapping the power pole. Not a big deal. So expensive at this point. There's still 10 of those frames. And uh, they, I guess the encased industrial beams isn't too big of a deal to make by hand. But 
still a little bit of a pain in the butt. So uh, we got to rehook this back up here. And this time we actually got to go with Mark three belts because it's got to keep up with the output or there's no point in doing that, right? So let's switch out uh, slot four here with the, the higher belts. Perfect. And now to upgrade stuff, all I got to do is click on the existing and bam, there we go. We should have some iron now flying down this line uh maybe hopefully maybe hopefully what's going on here what have i broken no power well i guess we're back to basics here guys there we go perfect okay now let's go get on top and uh witness the speed for ourselves if i can manage to do this here we go they're gonna come flying out once that thing gets spinning up Oh, our first Mark III miner, guys. Holy crap, look at them go. Now, we should have really no issue uh, having, you know, full production at both our steel plant and our versatile beam over there. I'm going to just go ahead and upgrade the whole system. Don't have to do that with the coal yet because, of course, we don't have a Mark III miner on the coal. But, you know, now, actually, if we need more coal, all we have to do is upgrade our, our miner up there. That's not too big of a deal at all. Okay, so this should not take too long to get all caught up. Let's go up here. I'm going to kind of sit on here for a second and watch this. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's catching up quickly. Oh, it looks like there is a slow spot over here. Did I miss a chunk? Sometimes it's easy if you if you do things funky, you can uh, you can miss a little section. Ah, right here. There we go. There's a section I missed. Always good to go and and double check your work, guys. Like a hundred percent. There we are. Yeah. Now they're flying down there. Hopefully, fingers crossed. This will get us all nice and uh, and caught up. Looks like everything's moving along nice and smoothly. Oh, let's go and get the Hypertubes milestone done. May as well, guys, get that whole tier done. Uh, this episode, we are moving along quite quickly. Okay, let's stack those together. We need some tubes as well. And we also need, ooh, damn, some beams. That's okay. I'll slap a few together. And away we go. Hypertubes are now a thing. Those things are going to look real cool in our mass transit system. We're definitely going to be using them. For now, though, we're, we'll definitely use them to get back and forth through things very quickly. That actually antiquated our old system up there. Now I can build hypertubes and just whoop right up there. No problem at all. Damn. I can make, like literally make a hypertube right here and then just kind of float it through the universe, through the world. And up to there, and we are done. But that's it, guys. We finished off that entire tier this episode. Now we just got to get phase two elevator done, which, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, we can half our time to that research uh, finish completion. If I just up the production in here a little bit, did I grab the other beams? No, I didn't. So uh, we're now sitting at 21 versatile beams. And I think we can get that jacked up a little bit. I just have to go through and clock everything a little better. Uh, the one thing I was worried about was our iron, but it looks like now that I've got that machine on there, oh yeah, it's caught up. It is solid all the way down the line. That is pretty damn cool. The next thing I think that really makes sense to upgrade maybe is our coal line coming down. So maybe next episode we'll upgrade the coal line and uh, build a hyper tube up there at the same time to save ourselves tons and tons of time. <laughs> this is really exciting, guys. We are now smooth sailing along here rather quickly. So I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please. Do hit the like button. I appreciate it. If you'd like to support me, you can always watch uh, an ad or two at the end of the video or at the beginning. And uh, hit the like button. Comment if you'd like a comment back, guys. Constructive criticism is very much appreciated. I know this isn't visually the best yet. We will get there, guys. This is just to get us going through the tiers, get our um, space elevator stuff done, and then we can build to our heart's desire whatever we want and across the whole entire map oh this is gonna be so much fun all right guys as usual stay classy and i'll see you in the next one do you want